Today I spend 100 days in Forever Skies. I learned how to survive the most brutal attacks from radiated creatures that lived beneath the surface. Flying my ship to explore the remains of Earth, devastated by a global disaster that covered the entire planet in a layer of toxic dust. And I listened to a voice inside my head that would hopefully guide me to a cure. Will I survive the toxins and make it to the end? I guess you'll have to wait and see. So without further ado, I spend 100 days in Forever Skies and here's what happened. Being dropped into Earth's atmosphere from space, I was about to bear witness to all the devastation. Oh, that was us. Cool. All right, take first aid. Consume. We're good. <laughs> Return to planet Earth. We did that. Oh, this is where we got to start catching all the stuff. Oh, that's right. The only thing stopping me now was a power source and a locked door. Oh, jeez. There's an actual person? Ooh, looking dry as heck. You need some moisturizer there, buddy? Hello? 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 What the fudge? So many bodies. Whoa. This was exactly how I remembered my airship. Bare and in need of some blueprints. Oh, fabricator. Beautiful. This is actually what we needed. I was like, where's the buildy guy? Let's put the fabricator right there. So this is how we're going to build everything. Ah, okay. You just hold it and it eventually builds. Printing completed. Oh, hello. Beautiful Karen voice. Love that. Mm, love me some Karen. Oh, let's get the building. Yep. We just get the, oh, <laughs> the building's coming down. As things went bump in the night, I wanted to make sure there wasn't anything I missed. With the new morning here, you won't believe what I found. And then take research station. Oh, okay. I'll just pick that up. Yep. With my hands, yoink that over here. So battery in here. So I got carried away. We got to use research station. Thank you. All right. Put that in. Oh, yo, we can scan like that. Small storage box, engine, and fuel. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, I don't, I don't remember working like that before. Almost scanned it all. Taking in a few more scans around the rooftops the next day, I came across a poster that said it all. Welcome to AFK Journey, where heroes are forged and legends are born. In this ethereal fantasy RPG adventure, you'll assemble a team of mighty warriors, own their skills, and lead them to victory against the forces of darkness. AFK Journey is more than just an idle game. It's an epic RPG experience. Embark on a thrilling journey through fantastical realms from lush forests and towering mountains to dark dungeons and haunted castles. Explore richly detailed environments, uncover hidden treasures, and unravel the mysteries of a world in peril. AFK Journey is now available on iOS, Google Store for mobile, and on the AFK Journey official website for PC. Free to play today. Recruit with AFK Arena's beloved characters and discover new ones, each with their own strengths, weaknesses, and unique abilities. Strategically assemble your team, optimize their gear and talents, and unleash devastating combos to overcome even the toughest of foes. AFK Journey's official release gives you the ability to earn up to 40 heroes in-game for free. Additionally, you'll receive 200 plus free pulls by progressing through the game and completing events like the seven day login. Use my CD key AFK journey 88 today and earn a variety of giveaways and more. Valid from the 27th of March to May 27th. Still in need of more resources, the only way my ship would move was crafting a turbine and an engine. We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Okay, wait, what's next then? Depart the location, you got it. All right, let's leave. Oh, 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 oh. shift is up, shift is up. Sorry, sorry, go up, go up, go up, go up. Okay, here we go. I'm going to that light, you see that light? I'm going to that right away. Gotta hit that up. Don't know what it is, but I want it. All right, cool. We're not stuck anymore. And then we got our scanner. Uncharted area. Prelim preliminary analysis started. Sorry, I can't English right now. Inventory full. Oh, uh, we gotta go build the storage now. Let's do that. With a torrential pour down the next day, I had some time to kill inside my ship. Wait, do we scan? Oh, we can scan this. This is basic turbine. Ooh, that's actually sick too. Holy crap. But I'm not done with this place. Not yet. <laughs> All right, we got some new stuff. We got airship builder, which obviously is self-explanatory. Oh, we get a flashlight too. I saw that in my inventory. Like there's a thing for a flashlight. Interesting. I think the first thing we need is airship builder. I need to build a bigger airship. What is that airship? What is this? You see that? The moth swarm. If I was going to upgrade my altitude, I needed more turbines and that meant more resources. As the placement of my research table really started to bother me, I needed more space. I found just the right thing for that. Look at this. Got a big old room coming. Woo! Looking good too. There we go. 3D printing device. Your home, the fabricator. Plastic makes it look really dark. Oh, we got to put lights in here. True. Forgot about that. Balloon. Wait, expand balloon airship? 
Oh, did I reach the ship load maximum? I think I did. Oh, yeah, and there's not enough lift now. Oh, God. Flying through more skies today, stations covered most of the surface. Resources were abundant, and I also needed batteries. Instead, I got something a little less essential. The next day would be the first of many wind farm locations. Something that would also progress my story to the much more juicier stuff. Again, I really needed that extra turbine if I was to climb atop the windmill. Look at the view of this game, though. Honestly, just take that in. It is beautiful. Like, there's a lot of flashing, like, lights of areas and stuff, but when you get past the fog and all that, you get to see the clouds, the sky. <laughs> now I just gotta park. <laughs> Mothling you here. We got this case. Look at this. I think this is like a map. Holy crap. Ooh, I can scan it. I can scan the wrecked location. Oh, it's a radar. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, because then we can craft it, I want to say. Yay. Expand balloon. Oh my god, that's what I need. Taking in such a wonderful view while aboard the ship, my stomach did the grumbly thing. With both my deck extractor farming resources and using my builder on hand, the ship itself started to grow in size, feeling less claustrophobic and having space to finally breathe a bit more. The scariest thing in the game so far was definitely the weather. All I needed now was a few more chests to complete my little storage system. One thing that revealed itself on the radar was this question mark, a new point on the map and one I was excited to finally investigate. This was something of an overgrown tower covered in these giant lily pads to fauna all over. I met with some bees that did bee things, eventually scanning and learning that I would need something to cut these thorny looking vines down. All I had left to do was steal the battery and be on my way. Getting some food in my cookers going, my plan was to visit other locations with that same symbol. What I was able to explore was another wind farm nearby. With a bunch more copper to break down and some circuit boards, I found a few more essentials. With a few more resources lined up the next day, I started adding to my engine collection. Gotta go fast! Jumping yet to another station for more plastic scrap and batteries, things we're going pretty well. With the new looking station here, this definitely caught my eye. Almost parkour-like, and that seemed to be a part of a new update. Just before the sun was going down, I made it my mission to have more or less constant food source. The lures worked perfectly for these catchers. From another windmill location full of copper, helium, and more circuit boards, I found another station later in the day that seemed abandoned and that had stuff left behind from the toxic gas. Uh, what the f- <laughs> I knew I was hearing something before. What is that? It's like a sp spider thing. Oh my god. Oh, it even moves and everything. I need to just, just take that. Oh, I don't have anything to kill this. Wait, could I scan it? <gasps> oh. This is a crust peed. A highly territorial insect with a venomous bite. Oh, I don't like centipedes. Oh, I don't like centipedes. Oh. Taking flight over all the toxic gases, my next destination was in sight. The only problem now was for me to figure out how to get more altitude. That was the growing problem, but one that could be fixed with turbines. All I had hoped for now was to fly to more stations in hopes of gathering more of what I needed. All right, easy there, easy there, Storm. I'm good. Don't need the loud noises. Oh my God. With a bit more time passing me by from crafting to tinkering and thinking to myself, you won't believe this next part. Here we go. Fingers crossed I can reach this. Ooh, <laughs> yes! Oh, just at the maximum too. So good. Sent to the underdust. I will. I will, big facility of the purple. With my energy being a little low, I needed to sleep some off, taking on this next part of the journey. Oh, I don't even have a flashlight. That's another one too. Solid state battery. Ooh, scientific data from the underlust lab. Are you ready to leave this place? To never come back. Oh, we got storage. <gasps> Wait, again? Ooh, fabric, oh. Cool, I got a fabricator in here. Don't get dizzy. Here we go, we're going underneath. All of the dust, the virus. Honey, I'm home. Oh, <gasps> crystals, scan, and then we take. Yes, please. Upgrade charger tool, crystal battery, energy crystals, stuff. If I see anything new, we gotta scan first. <gasps> polymer, I think this is polymer. <laughs> While ascending to the top side where my ship was, I should mention that the first half of this video was an earlier update, so there are some things you won't see in the beginning. As if you continue to watch this video, you're going to see a lot of new and updated stuff with cures and chapters and oh, you name it. As you could probably tell, my storage was filling up nicely. I also had my peepers set on something 
fun. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's a big one. Full of excitement being back in the Underdust City, I went all out looking for important items to anything I could scan. With a whole new kit of items, this had to be my favorite thing. Two major things you'll find in this part of the world was a hidden lab somewhere amidst the fog and then the underground sewers. Did I know where either was? Not really. Oh, this is completely new here. Wrecked filtering. Oh, it's a filter deck extractor. Okay, how do you fix that? That I don't know. Arrow pointing that way. Yeah, don't know what to do with this thing. <laughs> it's like a face eater, but in a very sexual kind of way. That's gonna face the eat out of you. It's gonna eat you alive, man. Ooh, oxygen tanks. This is good. This is really good. Look at this stuff. Oh, I gotta scan, scan, scan. Calling all Autobots. Calling all Autobots. What the fudge is this? Whoa. Oh no. Is that a creature we're gonna have to fight too? Look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I don't like that, but whatever. Forgot I had a flashlight. This would have helped so much. Holy crap. Ooh, could I scan that too? Thank you, virus sample analyzer. So we're looking for that DNA. Oh, maybe that was it. Get the scientific data. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Scientific data from this place. Okay, cool. This last thing I needed to find would take some time because I had no idea how to get past these weird looking plants. Oh, this is where we might have to like freeze it or do something. Okay, okay. So now we have a plan. It says to build some analy analyzer back on ship. Didn't know these could spawn like that. Ooh. Though with my inventory being as full as it could, no time like the present then to test some things out. All right, so this, ooh, this is a big boy, huh? Analyzer, actually, I'll just throw it back here. The closest I came to figuring out a way past those plants had to do with this new analyzer. Oh, here we go. So we finally got the virus out of that thing. We purified it. So now we have the hypothermia booster. So if I just have this hyper hypothermia booster, or maybe you have to use it in that moment, I don't know. Hopefully I don't have to use it, because if I do, I might need a second one. At this point, I had everything crossed. Fingers, legs, you name it. Oh, man. Hypothermia, I don't know. Oh, that's how, last it, how long it lasts. Okay. So maybe it's a good thing we take two extra. Uh, I think we're going to try and find, what is this? Bottle resin? Oh, plant resin. Whoa. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? What's up? Why? I can't move. I can't get out of here. Can I go back? Oh, I can't go back. Oh, ho, ho, ho. from this point on, you will be on your own, but I'm watching you closely. Find Noah's records, records in the tunnel. Oh my god. Hello? <laughs> Hello? I don't like this. I don't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be prepare, prepare. Prepare. Can't move. I'm gonna prepare myself. I'll prepare myself. So these are mantises, but very deadly ones. Got it. You scanning it? Come on. Thank you. Gonna take the glands. I was both shocked and intrigued to finally reach more lore and story within Forever Skies. Whoa! Find trace of no one that that's Noah. Oh my god. Oh no. Noah's dead body. Oh my god. How much is in this game? This oh I want that 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 maybe I don't okay go back I don't like how silent it is it's like really quiet doesn't look like I can go any further actually is there a, no there's no map okay with a new plan and a new set of coordinates I finally had the ability to craft the immunity booster something to help tame my infection and that would hopefully keep me alive until the end bringing back everything I either farmed or killed to my ship storage was slowly becoming a problem that didn't stop me though because I was too excited to reach this next part of the game I mean who wouldn't be ready to feed more of my curiosity I wanted to see what this next underdust location had in terms of mantis was there more story I just couldn't wait What is this? Rescue? Rescue what? What am I looking at? I want to rescue it. Hello. Oh. 
I got a friendly insect. There's an insect found in the tunnels under the dust. Can I bring it up top with me? Whoa! That's actually cool. Finally, I'm not alone in this world. That's very different and I love it. I love that approach. I love it. I did find it pretty funny how fast the game changed, going from station to station and then taking a single lift down to the underdust. The amount of resources and items I started to accumulate it, it was unreal and I loved it. As much as I could easily continue to farm and become the great hoarder himself, other places did call to me, specifically a new station with a temporary camp. It seemed that they added new locations that had a chance of scanning new and important stuff. Ooh. Do you remember the forests? Are you talking about the forest game? Is that what you're talking about? Because I do not. What is this? Big red but Wait, what? Extract. Being a one-man army, either refilling my engines quite frequently to cooking food and refilling both the water and lures, I took my time shooting down some glass. The early parts of this game did get a bit grindy, but if you push through to later game stuff, man, that stuff rocked hard. I did also work towards this next location. With the greenhouse now in front of me, my plan was to collect all the glass I could. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, wait. Find Noah's hideout. So he might have been hiding out. One thing I will applaud Forever Skies doing to me, okay, was the random storm encounters. One moment it was nice and sunny out, the next, thunder was coming. My plan was to just wait out the storm, but as you could probably tell here, it wasn't letting up anytime soon. Not one bit. But with it finally being sunny out, it gave me the opportunity to finish farming all the glass I could. In the meantime, I figured I could start building more of the ship out. Needing more space is exactly what I needed, and the large cockpits did exactly that. Next, I moved some fabricators around and then gave this a bit more thought. I even got so desperate to put my charging station on the ground. It's also that time in the video, and if you made it this far, comment Mantis down below. The next and last day I spent at this gardens finally gave me what I needed. First, learning about the immunity, and then coming up across a note that spoke about visions. The one thing I did have my eyes set on was the deck extractors, but being automated. One last thing to worry about and it being one of the bigger pulls. The next thing I wanted to test out was this automated catcher. All I needed to do was add the lure and then set up the trap. It seemed easy enough and one less thing to worry about. Not only that, but I finally had the know-how to build bigger storages. Talk about things falling into place. Oh yeah, also, I forgot, I didn't even show you this. Oh my god, look at this. Little base tour kind of thing. Weird that you call this a base, but I fixed it all up finally. I have a little corner for my little bobbles stuff. I don't know, I think they're like little trophy- Oh? Little trophy things? Flashlight when turned on- Wait, can you charge this? I always wonder. You can charge it! Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So. Little corner for all of baubles. Got my two chests. One is the plant resin and all that stuff. This is all the other ingredients. Oh, this big one. This big thing is awesome. This is the upgraded station. So think of it as like Fabricator 2.0. Oh, it's so good. You get upgraded tool charger, filtering deck extractor. Don't know what that is. Built one of these, the automated insect uh, catchers, automated insect. You put the thing on, you just drop it and it automatically picks it up. You don't have to go back to it. With the new station ahead, big things were happening. So those big things were an unmarked station and needed to be scanned. I was now on the hunt for more blueprints. The best place to start my search was surveying stations that had question marks over them. Unknown and unexplored was perfect. Sadly, I did find a note on a so-called prototype extractor, but didn't think much of it to look around like the darn thing could be inside or close by somewhere. I don't know what I was thinking here. Later on, I spent some time traveling towards another windmill location, this one having untapped potential, but not exactly what I planned on finding. Set in another location, it felt like I was getting closer and closer to my target. Not exactly what I wanted, but this was progress in itself. Communications hub, new database, hold on. Maybe we could scan. Oh, no, they have no lights. What? What is it? Uh, we got the wrecked hanging cabinet. A hanging cabinet. Cool. What I did expect to find at this next place looked like a game of Splatoon. Paint was everywhere from top to bottom. What is this place and who lived here? Holy smokes. Take, uh, wait, basic pattern cartridge. Uh, okay. 
looks like we get paint from this place. While I was getting frustrated, I took my ship and my anger, headed straight towards another greenhouse. All I wanted to do was spam E on some water. With all the extra water I gathered from the unlimited source, I felt the need to build another purifier in its place, traveling more of the skies and picking up debris as I needed. Did I ever mention how loud the thunder was? The hardest thing about stations like this one was me trying to park my ship close so I could find an easy way on. It was hard enough getting close, but risking it for the biscuit here just wasn't my thing. With a new target in sight, I had to find a way to get to the tallest point of this place. Finally being atop this thing, I figured it would be easier to line up the shot and test out my luck. This is why it was important to scan anything and everything red in Forever Skies. Apparently, besides all the other stuff, obviously, there is a docking plank? Controllable, extendable plank used for disembarking on high altitude habitats where landing pads aren't available. So essentially, this is going to be one of those things where I could just be a bit further away and just land pad out. That would be so cool. It's like a pirate ship in the sky and it's just like, plank aboard. I went on to pointing the dock and extended it towards the next station. <gasps> Look at it. <laughs> oh my God. That's hilarious. What the fudge? <laughs> oh my God. Wait, what if I leave it there? Could I put one on top? Hold on. I got to try something. I got to try something. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay, yes, yes, no. That's okay. Something else I should have done sooner was look into my studies. Whatever blueprint I was missing gave clear instructions where I would find it and on what type of station. I was on a mission now. Sure, I needed to scan all things and everything I didn't have, but do you see that map there? Yeah. I needed nay. I wanted all of those batteries to myself. Everything was powered by batteries, and this would allow me to further my progress even more. While the story did ask a lot of me, the next location it told me to go to was this infected greenhouse. Surely nothing would go wrong here, right? Wait, is there gonna be like spooky, scary stuff here? Probably scan this, huh? Bunch of bulbuses. Perpetual go. Oh, wait, this is where we get the seeds from. I've always wondered where I got the seeds from. Okay, there's gonna lethal biohazard zone, high contaminant risk of imminent death, abandon the area. Oh God, really? Back at another Splatoon looking station, I was in serious need of a bunch of things. The biggest one being this automated extractor and a few more scans. Looking into another tall tower full of goodies, there wasn't much around that I truly needed. Something I did have a little too much of were these potion looking vials, each one to a specific viral strand and some that could help more than others. With another quick leap of faith, this next place I was hoping for the best, anything that would help me find what I really needed. With a shot out of luck, I attempted my hand with another greenhouse location, hoping the new garden update would had something for me. What's inside there? Why are you hiding? Why are you hiding though? Why are you hiding? Why are you hiding? Oh, what is this? I don't know. Wrecked distiller extracts liquid from organic resources used in oil and fertilization production. I still don't know what that's going to do for me though. What the? F so many things. What is this? A water tank, small capacity size to store water. Beautiful. Small gardening pot. <gasps> yes. Oh, medium gardening pot, please. Big gardening pot. Oh my God. Yes, this is exactly what we needed. Okay, the updates are here, guys. Oh my God. Oh, master plans. Oh, we don't want to hear those just yet. Give me a second. I wasn't done there though. Oh no. Somehow I became the most unlucky person on this planet and contracted a few diseases that would actually teach me never to do so again. As the updates piled on, so did the content and new stuff I could find. At the time here, I figured this freezer would be my saving grace, but I unfortunately needed the first build. On top of that, my food and water was draining three times as fast because of the diseases. So while trying to come up with some sort of solution, all I could find at the time was drinking water and praying my catchers would catch food and not rot. I may have gone into full crisis mode here because trying to keep up with the intake just wasn't working. Things were draining way too fast and I needed something a little more permanent. Hopefully this will help one of those diseases. I don't know. Printing completed. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> All right. The hemorrhaging fever. Oh, that was a lobster pepper. This is good. This is good. This is good. Oh, literally 40 minutes just on this alone. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's all gone. Now I can focus on just 
not losing because it was my um my food and water were going down like they go down crazy fast it wasn't so bad before because it wasn't a chronic disease but chronic disease just put it over the thing something else that also caught me off guard was the timer these purifiers had apparently almost every type of medicine to food source was on a timer at this point in the game i had all of the updates going from the first two chapters to now my gardens and with so much more to come no one station could stop me now my next little journey would take me far here. I was looking for that exact windmill I passed up weeks ago, looking to find and scan the auto extractor. I wasn't about to give up and needed to find whatever I could on this radar of mine. You hear me, extractor? I'm coming for you if it's the last thing I do. Somehow, as lucky as I was, this was about to be my biggest find. It was right there, the extractor just sitting with a big dumb look on its face and me counting down the seconds before I could actually build the thing. It was a dream of mine to have resources mined up in the auto sense. First, I had to set a few things down to give a more natural feel, building out some more and with the additional catwalks. The next thing I would end up struggling with was my shipload. I wanted more extractors built alongside other things, of course. I just didn't have the capacity for it. The balloon core wasn't doing anything and it seemed my ship itself reached the maximum length it would allow. Oh hey, look at that. It's me struggling again for the 50th time trying to get this sucker working. Even with a few more pieces built to my ship, I couldn't reach it or it just wouldn't take. The extractor was beautiful, man. <laughs> While waiting for any idea to spark, I went to not one or two different stations, but 13 of them and counting. Having that dock by my side now and being able to just jump onto each station just for the single battery was perfect. This was so cool to see. Just witness the power of my extractors going ham, okay? Knowing that the greenhouse locations had new stuff, it then hit me. If things were recently updated, then what else was added to the game? The best place to test this out was in the lift to the underdust. And there's a new thing. I have never seen this before. Okay. Uh, oh, ship workstation. Cause it was just, it just said gardening update. So I was like, okay, maybe it's just for the gardens, but no, there's like other stuff specifically. Use access module. Um, okay, this is new. I don't have this. Maybe I should have farmed as much as I could down there. Cause I feel like they updated a lot. <laughs> wow, that's different, huh? Okay, okay. Okay, hold on a minute. Wait a minute. Call this ADHD or whatever you will, but I should have focused on the module and gone back to the underdust. Instead, I was stubborn and had to figure this balloon thing out. Oh, 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 it just, it just, hold on, hold on, hold on. <gasps> there it is. See, this is what we we're supposed to do. We have one balloon, two balloon. How can I make this one longer, but not that? Hold on, is that the same size? Are they the same size? Yeah, it looks like the same size. Okay. All right. Well, we got a double balloon now. Slotting the new module into this access panel, the improved system finally let me inside the elevator, descending into what would be chaos, possibly. All right, new... Whoa! Did... Hold on. Like, like, like. Did they ever change this or what? The entire area is different. I have not... Oh. <laughs> and it leads outside immediately so different oh i love it <laughs> it's so cool i'm just gonna take everything all right guys vrv as i farm all this because normally the elevator is right here oh it's just on a reverse side so they put the elevator on the back side oh okay now i know where i am again the majority of stuff was the same but i still needed my hypothermia vials for getting back into the sewers most of the stuff at this point was just flipped so what i did now was just getting everything into the storage on the elevators i found it easier just to get everything in one area rather than taking too many trips up and down the lift not only that but i crafted the heck out of those water filters if there was anything new that came to these deeper parts of the underdust it would be things i'd need to analyze for oh what are you doing here you're not supposed to be out here or are you Oh crap, are there gonna be more of these? I'm gonna take that, yoink. Oh, green colander col col and, and seeds. Oh, the seeds are the big ones, holy crap. While taking my leave from this place, having gathered every single piece of item to scanning every organic life form, there was another location close by and that seemed pretty important. All right, infected. I got the immunity booster, so we should. Oh, let me still go if it's like, We just need to get seeds, right? Oh, I gotta be very careful here. Oh my god. I gotta be so careful. Do I, should I, I'm gonna go in here maybe. Ow. Okay, nope. Can't yet. Don't touch that. I gotta, whoa. That I want. Oh. <gasps> 
Take the pre... Wait, oh, I got 10 seeds? This place is... This place is scary. <laughs> it's a horror game up in here. But there's a lot of cords, so we gotta get upstairs. We gotta see what's there. Hypothermia is almost ending. I don't know if that's bad or not. I gotta hurry up then. Get this, get this, get this, get this. I got a medical station? No friggin' way. Electrolyte pills. Oh, I should leave these. Because they have a timer. What the fudge? Battery, use computer. The research report on the smog influenza virus, part one of three. Build a medical to optimize getting the immunity booster effect. Fly to the next infected greenhouse and retrieve data from the second computer. It turns out the only way I was going to gather more infected seeds was from another infected greenhouse. With another beaming light from the distance, I knew right away where I wanted to go next. Getting there was the easy part, as I had to park and level myself out to try and get inside. The dock honestly made everything twice as easy, and soon enough I'd be exploring the remains of this next chapter. So this is different. I could die here very quickly. I don't want to, uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna scan that. What did I get? This place is wicked though. It's a unknown location with stuff and things. Hello, sir. Advanced access module, we did it. Oh, wait, could we come to this one then? <gasps> maybe we can use it here and open this and then it goes to a new place. Oh, maybe this is a new location location. The only way I'd gain access to this place was actually continuing the story at large too. So deciding my next plan of action, the upgraded tool charger was phenomenal. This thing charged any and all tools in a matter of seconds. Faster than that. The battery itself also lasted far longer than any other charger I had. Afterwards, I made some time to place down a few water tanks, hoping they'd keep the excitement going. Then this happened. The expansion on my base far succeeded any other build moment and gave me more room than I honestly ever needed. I also had the floors finally finished with a nice light source to complement the area around. On top of that, I found a new spot for my turbines and engines. As I flew high above the skies, my extractor beams would shoot out, clinging to the resources in the back as I went from station to station. While making my way to the next part of the story, I began collecting more batteries that I would eventually need. The best part about all of this was how fast I could get things done. Went the dock towards any location, jump off from the plank, and onto any station quickly picking up the batteries. The next thing I was curious about was how far I could take my procrastination. Was I able to just sit back and let my extractors farm everything up for me? Are you ready to see the coolest thing ever? I'm calling on this my little army it's like kind of like how they just when they get hooked or like when they start shooting them they just stop because for me they keep moving so this is kind of nice i have a whole army of them <laughs> you only need one side of these things too you just pull them to the side there and it's just like bam you're done that's it got my gunners with time being cut short here and my need to finish up the remainder of the story, the last thing I needed to do was farm the underdust just one more time. The biggest reason to travel back to the city was the medical reagents, a very important ingredient when it came to crafting protection, but more than that, they were also limited, and I also didn't have enough seeds to craft what I needed. Oh, finally! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, I was looking for you. Oh, I need the mantis, the mantis gives me more of those things so I can start crafting, uh... What you might call it? I'm gonna put the battery here. It starts, it gives me the ability to craft more of those immunity boosters just in case I need those. I don't know if I will, but I'm gonna have them crafted up just in case. Coming up to another infected station here, my mission was to find more logs and build myself the next access key. Turns out the immunity booster was actually a real lifesaver and would keep me alive inside this place. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. What? Oh my god! When you get rid of the seed, it gets rid of the infection! Well, power, and the next one. Two of three. So while making quick work with this next location, I finally made it to the last and final computer. Evolved Flora Hologram requires ship workstation crafted at the workstation. Cool. That I could do. Alright, so we have a flora that is on. Ooh, encrypted data. Data, wait, data detected in hologram's memory. Turn it on to unlock the package. Encrypted data ready for research. Rewards is the advanced pass component. This means we get into chapter two now. We get into the actual update of the game as well, or more of the update of the game. Oh, no, 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 no. New mission report, come back to me. 
Just be careful. Wait, what? Did you see that? Someone just said, come back to me, be careful. Having just what I needed with the next access key in my inventory, I was about to find a whole new world living beneath me. So going in will kill us, but if we... Hey! Hey! <laughs> yeah, buddy! Let's do it! Um, okay, first of all, HP, and then this one. We have three of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Immunity Burster is going... To oh, God. Why did the immunity booster go down so quickly? That's not normal. That's not normal. That's not normal. I'm gonna die. Brain cleanser, expiration time is over and has spoiled. Uncharted area. Okay, well, we do have another just in case. I think because I used one of the other two, it made the other one go down quickly. The suburbs, look at this place. Don't like this. I'm gonna go up here. Okay, I feel safe up here because like it's easy to Traverse, walk on. Is in a car? No. Uh, at least look at a car. <gasps> Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> you guys protecting there, huh? You guys protecting? Uh, mantis feast. Ooh. Oh. Mantis with none of the good stuff. Only the bad stuff. This is crazy, though. Like I'm, oh my, like I'm curious how far it goes, but like if I see a mantis, I have to know I can kill it. Cause if I can't, I'm not, like I can't, I can't do it. Sorry, I, I, I keep, I'm, I'm just panicking, panic shooting. Whoa. This stuff we can't cut, that's new. With this being my first trip back to the surface, the newest thing I had and needed to progress was the air cutter. Things were about to get a little real down here. Look at this. You hear that? Slicey dicey sound. Beautiful. Somehow I just knew I would find this. Hello. What do you have in here? Ooh. Oh, are these the... Oh, these might be large. Oh, if these are large, I called it out. Yay. Large oxygen tanks. Let's go, baby. While ending up a little lost, I accidentally stumbled upon a hidden secret. With a little refresh in hand from an immunity booster and a hypothermia booster, the true secrets this place had locked away, I was just at a loss for words. Ooh. This is new. Whoa. It's like a shield over there. Uh, if I go down there, I'm going to die, right? Cool. We have two shields over here. I don't know if I'm going to have to defend anything. Whoa. What is this? Hello. Old accelerator. Oh, is this it? A sleeping lily pad. Okay, we can grow from the big pot. Let's take the mantis stuff. Hold on. Any more mantis stuff here? No. What? Oh, grow the fruit, create the cure. Bring it to the tree. Humanity will blossom anew. We will restore what was lost. Being back aboard the ship, I needed to craft the dust fertilizer and see if what I had was actually a cure. Funny enough, I had some serious blinders on because while playing the game here, I thought these were distillers. It doesn't give us a recipe, so it's hard to remember what it said, but I think it was biomass that I needed. Oh my god, it's not... Uh, was that the right one I built? Hold on, was that... No, that was the recycler. So, solid state battery, sure. Here we go, organic fertilizer, which is biomass, a lot of rotten food, which is awesome. We get too much of that. Dust daisy, I think we actually grow that now? That said, the recyclers were actually pretty awesome because they could break down almost any build and they would give pretty much a full refund on resources. So with just a little more time though, having the flower itself blossom into that sleeping lily I needed, I felt that much closer to the end than ever before. This was it, my last day surviving in Forever Skies. Whoa, this thing looks beautiful. Holy crap, look at that, that's gorgeous. Take it, I will take it. You sleeping lily fruit to research the virus Cure? <laughs> Never mind. Cure for the virus. It stops further development of the virus or the disease, but does not reverse its effect. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we'll make this. Interesting. Yes, 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 yes. Use the virus cure. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm getting some Nautica feelings. 
<laughs> oh, baby, use the med station to check if the cure has stopped the disease. A significant change in the body condition has been detected. Use the medical bed to perform diagnostics. Oh, the cure started working. You were slowly assimilating into a new world. I'm proud of you. Who's talking? Oh, that's cool. Oh, they're proud of me. Okay, we got to use this. I do have some seeds, so we'll grab a bunch of those. Use medical station. Whoa, what is this? Yo. Oh my God. <laughs> Full on cutscene. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Journey further. Meet me. We will save humanity. There is still hope for everything. We can do it. This is so cool. Oh, 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 this is so cool. Okay, the journey will continue. There is still much to experience here. Now is a good time to discover mechanics you've missed, carry out further research, create new devices, and above all, get to know the world of Forever Skies better. We would be delighted if you could share your feedback with us. Forever Skies. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you everyone from the people to the viewers to everyone. Thank you guys so much. I love your faces. This was a uh, hundred days and I just can't thank you enough for everything. I, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really do. I love each and every single one of your faces. It means the absolute most. Oh, if you enjoyed this, you know what to do. I will see you in my next video and or live stream. And if you want to see more content of yours truly, there will be some here and here. But until then, I will catch you in the next one.